Dear friends, we have uh, with us uh, Asela Sidikova. We are very happy about that. Thank you. Uh, she's uh, the founder of Global Business Forum in the UK, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, which is a leading uh, learning platform for businessmen and those who want to build a successful career in a corporate world. We are very happy because uh, Asel is an expert in the field of unlocking human potential and has repeatedly been awarded the best female speaker in Central Asia Award. Thank you. How is to be the best female speaker in uh, Central Asia? Well, it's okay. It's, uh, it's busy because you get invited a lot to speak and share your expertise. Um, I also train uh, very influential business owners on how to speak well, speak better, because they want to deliver their message, their mission to the employees, to the people, to the clients. So, yeah. You have a, a very hard program. Uh, why, what brings you in Cyprus and in Lemesos? Uh, so, it's my second time in Cyprus. I'm very happy because I'm, I love the weather. And uh, I came here to mm. share tomorrow on the stage all the strategies, all the sort of secrets and all the steps that anyone can take to achieve any goal and accomplish the higher results in their lives. And I think we all need some, right? when you have the right strategy and the right mindset and you put it together, then anyone can become anything, like any, anyone can become anyone they want. Yeah, you have an online program that you will yeah. uh, um, present uh, tomorrow, Mission, uh, Mission to, to Million. To million. Yeah. So we speak about million euros? It can be million euros, million dollars, million pounds. Like for anyone, it's different. It depends on the person himself. Someone is happy with one million dollars. Someone will say, I want one million pounds. Someone will say one million, I don't know, uh, rubles or whatever. It's, so uh, we speak about money. Yes, we talk about the money, but also the program is more than the money because to create the serious big wealth, to create lots of money and become wealthy, successful financially, it's, uh, it's not enough just to want money, obviously. You have to create this mindset and you have to develop the right attitude and you have to learn the new right habits. So it's the whole kind of um, things that you need to have. Yeah, and that's what I teach in uh, my Mission to Million program. We live in a competitive uh, economic environment. Yeah. Why should someone like you help other people to get rich? You know, um, I always believed and I know that the universe is very abundant. And, uh, you know, like every year we have so many millionaires are created, you know. And uh, the, the reason I want people to be successful, because when you, when you have more successful people, it's we can create more good stuff for others. Like we can help others because when you, when you poor yourself and you don't have, like um, you, you, you haven't made it for yourself, you are very useless to others. You can only barely take care of yourself or maybe your family, but when you are successful, when you made it, you can actually create so many things for others. And that's, what's, that's what makes you kind of happy, you know, that's what, makes me happy and make me kind of this gives me inner kind of happiness you know as well to sh share to help others as well uh, some people are thinking hard work or smart work i think both road always both seriously like uh, hard work is required because uh, to to achieve like anything like let's say everyone wants to lose weight i'm also and you want to lose weight quickly tomorrow then you, when you want to say, oh, I want a six pack, or I want a very slim, nice, fit body. You I wanna think you're perfect you're, in your way. Thank you. But we want to wake up tomorrow, yes. Rod, and be, have six pack. And yes. we want to wake up tomorrow and be this slim and beautiful. But the thing is, it takes you month and month and month at the gym. And you have to, you know, eat the right food and everything. So with anything, it's like this. With everything. You want to become the best speaker, international speaker. Every day is a hard work. But also smart means knowing your own talents, your own strength, and knowing other people who work with you, their talents and strength. So this is working smart. When you know your talents, other people's talents, and you can leverage on it and use it correctly. This is smart. But working hard is consistency, consistency, consistency. Every day, the repetition, repetition, repetition. When you do it, Rod, seriously, anyone can achieve success. But people don't last for too long. It's like, oh, we want a six pack. Then we go train for two weeks 
and we don't see the six pack on our stomach and what we say there's no six pack yes. so we go same with a million when you want to create the wealth you say oh i want to be so wealthy i want to drive let's say i don't know what's in your country in our country lexus um, jeep lexus 570 so that's everyone who has made it they're driving the lexus 570 so like I wanted this, I want to live in penthouse, I wanted this. And then about two months later, three months, oh my gosh, that's hard. Like, whoa, how? And then people start again going back to where they live and what they do and repeat what they've been repeating. And obviously there is no change, you see? And that's why when they learn the strategies and they the eyes open and there is the bulb, light of bulb is and like Oh, okay, so I need to do this, this, this. Okay, so I need to work on my mind. These are the strategies. I need to learn how to manage my money. I need to develop new habits. Consistency, repetition, consistency, repetition. Now imagine if you're consistent and repetitive every day for six months, eight months. In one year, there is a six-pack. You're waking up in the morning and you're like, oh, there is a six-pack. Oh, my gosh, but it's been a year. So it's everything is like this in life. So what are the ideal economic uh, academic studies uh, to help an entrepreneur to make money? Because we have many youngsters, even the parents, even the teenagers that are watching us. What advice do you give to them? To entrepreneurs? Yes. Okay, very good. You see, people ask me, I say, how you create the team? Because for business to be successful, you have to have a good team. And you know, once I was in um, Helsinki, I came to this business forum. I came, and you know who was speaking on stage? The Manchester United manager, Alex Ferguson. And then, uh, people asking him questions. They say, oh, you know, Mr. Ferguson, please tell us the secret. You're such a fantastic manager. What is your secret? How? And he said, uh, to winning, to be, to be such a great leader, yes. the great manager. What is your secret? And he said, you know, uh, the secret is, uh, so basically you cannot be a good manager with bad team. So you ha the secret is to have a good, very strong, good team. So, uh, and so you, know, you have to train yourself how to pick the right people, firstly. Secondly, you have to know how to train them. And thirdly, you have to be that example. You know, when you, when, people, when you know how to lead people and when you show them your mission, first of all, always first advice, always know your big vision. Don't just say, oh, this year I want to make money. People never, like money is a good motivation, but it's, it doesn't last for too long, the, this motivation. So it has to be something bigger. So you show them the vision. Let's say, oh, guys, if you, let's say, producing, I don't know, slippers. And it's not like, oh, guys, we need to make this much money. It doesn't motivate anyone. You say, guys, in three years' time, we're number one company in Cyprus that produces the most, like, I don't know, the best slippers in the Cyprus. So yes. we, everyone knows us, everyone wears our slippers, everywhere is our this and this. We want to increase it's the like popular, uh, popularity in uh, the population in Cyprus, so <laughs> let's work hard yeah. to make the best slippers in uh, Let's in say, Cyprus. so it's a big vision. So when yeah. you show them the vision, first one is advice is the vision. So when the team knows the vision, they work hard. Secondly, uh, you always grow yourself. And um, one, uh, I have one advice that gave me one millionaire one day. He yes. said, I said, I said, if you want to be successful in business, you have to remember one thing. Always. Your business can never overgrow you. So you grow, your business grow. You grow, your business... If you do, your business can never overgrow you. So you always grow yourself because you are on the top. You are the leader. Can you explain us that? So that means you grow yourself means uh, go always to the develop your, your mind. Uh, learn new strategies. Learn the business ideas. Learn how to communicate, how to motivate, how to do skills, public speaking skills, sales skills, negotiation. So grow yourself. You grow yourself. Your business grows. You grow again. Business. So business never can overgrow you. So you have a, a one a business, but you don't have too much capital, and you see the um, other people. They are not so talented, and they have a lot of money from their parents, and they mm. run a business. How do you manage this in a concurrent uh, world that is unfair? We can say, but. The world is unfair. How, how you? How do you manage? You see, uh, Rod, there is. We always. We all start from different places. Someone start. Oh, his dad was rich. Pass it on. Okay, his beginning point was this. Someone's beginning point is. Oh, I'm so broke. I have to start from zero. Or borrow the money. Never mind. You see, the question is not where you start. The question is how you take yourself from where you are today. Someone will 
inherit a lot of money and then they lose it a couple of years later. Or, they, or maybe they will develop, like, let's say, Donald Trump or whatever. They developed it. because was a millionaire. His father has became a billionaire. But, so it's never look at, uh, that's the problem. When you start looking for other people and comparing yourself and say, you will never be satisfied. Because they all, even me today, I have 1.2 million followers. Uh, people know me. You go in Kyrgyzstan, everyone, everyone wants to take a pictures. No. So if I sit now and start comparing, oh, she has 2 million followers, oh, this one 5 million, oh, she's more famous, or oh, more money, oh, she, her car is better, or oh, her business. I would be never happy. The thing is, I never compare myself to others. You compare yourself to yourself yesterday. Like, am I better today? Am I more as a human being, as a businesswoman, as a professional, as a speaker? Am I better as a mother? Yes. yes. So that means you're growing. This is most important. So ask yourself, my business today, let's say, making this much money. You're not happy. Okay, good. So that means it's the time to wake up, give yourself a slap and say, hey, 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 wake up. You want to be best like them. You want to be better than them. Okay, time to grow yourself, create the strategies, train the team, and start moving. Repetition, consistency. So, uh, I will ask you another question. Um, you have a very successful online courses. Thank you. Why should anyone come to see you in one day, in one hotel, for a day? Isn't it better to have a pyjamas and sit with a cup of coffee in the coach and watch the online courses? You see, it's a good question, Rod. But the thing is, there are two types of people. One person, they, I call it turned off forever. It's like their switch is never on. They forever switched off. They lie, they drag their life, they wake up in the morning, drag their body out of the bed, bring their body to the... I would call them, they're dead already a long time ago, so they keep dragging that half-dead body. They bring that half-dead body in the, the car. They bring it, drag it to the office. They drag it back home, and that's their life. Okay, if this is their happy, I don't think anyone can be happy, but okay. But those people who come to the seminars, those who are like, no, I want something. I, I know that I can be more. I know I can live better. I can travel the world, see the world, share, enjoy. I wake up every morning with a smile from ear to ear. It's so great, you know. But maybe I make a wrong question. I mean yeah. about the people that they can watch you online yeah. and they are interested to watch you online. Yeah, yeah. Why do they have to come in the real... Ah, you mean when they come yes. to the live yes, 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 yes. It's uh, maybe to the energy. I asked also the <laughs> organizer, Krasimir. He said, I said, please fly to Cyprus. And I said, can I come uh, online? Online, It's yes. better for me, so I don't have to take long flights. And he said, you know, I said, they need to connect to your energy. Because when they see you in line, it's like they have this kind of wake up call. Yes. It's stronger because it's energy. You know, we, it's all the energy. We are sitting now together, looking at each other. We feel each other's energy. So when they feel that energy, of course, it's, it's probably kind of hits you faster, maybe. Okay. So uh, you will make the lecture in Cyprus. Uh, economic conditions vary from country to country. Yeah, yeah. Which sector of the economy is the more profitable in Cyprus? Oh, that's a good question, that, but I cannot answer this question because I'm not a financial expert, especially in the maybe U European economy or the Cyprus particular, so, because this is my second time. I'm here purely to share uh, with anyone like the strategies on how to achieve the, the, the goals that they really want. So to we can say that you give the key, you don't give the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. The door they have already. They have already. They have the door. So it's you just, will give a key. They cannot that open. I want to show them. them I want to give them the key. The so key. they say, oh, here's the door and, and yes. um, I can open it. Uh, excuse me. How do you spend your um, time, uh, your extra time? What, what are your hobbies? Uh, I, well, I live in three countries. I live in Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and London. So it's in the UK. So I live in three countries. And so you enjoy your hobby, baby, is the duty-free shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I love shopping, I think, all the women. Uh, but, uh, you know, um, I live the lifestyle that I always dreamed mm. to live. And um, uh, my free time is my family, because I think my wealth is my family now. I'm the mother as well. I have a little girl, a husband. I married the uh, man of my dreams. You know, it's my first love I met when I was 18, and then I left the UK. Then we met again in 20 years. So wow. it's like a fairy tale. This will be another interview, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, in spare time, like I just spend with family. We travel a lot. And um, yeah, I just live the lifestyle. I just want to 
I want as many people as possible to come to these because it's, like I said, it's fantastic when you wake up in the morning smiling ear to ear and you say, oh my gosh, I love my life. Mm -hmm. uh, which historical figures do you admire and who, why? Who, who, historical figures. Historical figures? Yes. Oh, I have many. I have Martin Luther King uh, for his, you know, ability to lead, to inspire the nation. I have um, Mother Teresa, I have uh, Lee Kuan Yew, it's the, the ex-prime minister of the Singapore. So, yeah, many people that I look up to, I love their biographies. I, um, I, I kind of admire these people for their big mission, for being bigger than just themselves. Thank you very much. Tomorrow we will be uh, at your courses and we are very happy to, <laughs> yes, thank you, to watch you live. Thank you, thank you, Rod.